The Bad Guys, A Very Bad Holiday was released in 2023 and was directed by Brett Halland. It tells the story where the city has lost their Christmas spirit and it's up to Mr. Wolf and the gang to try bring back everybody's Christmas spirit. The Christmas special for The Bad Guys was announced around December of last year, 2022, so only a couple of months after the first film came out. And I have to say, the first movie has gotten so much better for me the more I watch it. I genuinely am a big fan of this film. And I even like the Maraschino Ruby short film that's included on the DVD. Sadly, there was no Blu-ray release of the film in Ireland, so I just had to get the DVD. But I still think it's a great movie, and it's gotten it just gets better for me every viewing. I don't quite think it's a masterpiece, but it is a very good movie, and definitely in my top 20 DreamWorks movies. I just really like it, especially the characters. So when I heard there was going to be a Christmas special, I was genuinely quite excited. The only thing that I was disappointed with, the fact that it was going to be a prequel taking place before the first film, which meant we probably wouldn't get to see Diane Foxington, my favourite character of the first movie. So, yeah. But I went in with an optimistic uh, mindset, and I was intrigued to see the special for myself. After watching the special, I'm happy to say I might be the only person to say this, because I've seen a lot of people that weren't quite happy with the bad guys a very bad holiday which i can see why and i can see where they're coming from for me personally in my opinion i actually quite enjoyed uh, the bad guys a very bad holiday in my opinion the story it was simple it was very short but i actually really enjoyed the execution it was a lot like the movie where i feel the storyline is just kind of fun it's simple lighthearted, and the direction is very straightforward but i think it works for what the short film was trying to do the bad guys were trying to lift the Christmas spirits up of everyone. And I just think it worked. It kind of lived up to what the story was about. I think it lived up to a very creative idea. I think as well the storyline just... I don't know. There's not a lot for me to say about the overall story. But I just really enjoyed it. It just it was fun. It was funny. It had its heart in the right place. And overall I just thought it was a really good and well written storyline. The animation is made on a cheaper budget. It's made on the same budget as a TV show. Um, it's probably the same budget that Dawn of the Dragon Race and How to Train the Dragon Homecoming were on. So it's not the it doesn't have a similar animation style to the film. The animation, I'm not gonna lie, the animation's awful here. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna be completely honest. I suppose it's not too bad for the budget, but it's just the frame rate is terrible. Um I personally had an issue with the film's animation. I felt there was some slight lack of texture in a few areas, but in this special, it's just worse. It's actually so much worse. Now I know it wouldn't it wasn't gonna look as nice as the movie, but it just oh the visuals are ugly. It's oh it's awful looking. Now granted the lighting and the backgrounds do look pretty similar to the film, but just oh it was it was awful the visuals. They're they're terrible. They're just laughably bad. But I think you know they're not too bad. For the budget but it's just when you watch it it's just ah oh, the visuals do look awful i remember when i saw the trailer for this for the first time back in october if i'm correct when the trailer dropped i was like oh my god those visuals are terrible and when i saw the screenshots i was like okay the animation doesn't look too bad but when you see it in movement when you're watching the film the short film itself it's ugly as hell and also it definitely seems like this is a pilot episode for a bad guys tv show and i would and i'm assuming the bad guys tv series is going to be taking place before the first film and all i can say is i'm really intrigued to see it because i really hope that this isn't the last we see of these characters i genuinely do love the characters and the bad guys and i really hope that they do get expanded into a franchise i would love to see more of them and there's actually rumors going around that the bad guys 2 is coming out in 2025 and there's even rumors going around that that movie is going to be developing further of diane foxington and that sounds fantastic so i really hope that actually does come a reality i'd love to see a sequel in all honesty so the animation it was Oh, it was ugly. It was pretty ugly. I'm I'm just being honest. I genuinely thought the animation was awful here. As for the characters, I'm so happy to say, just like the film, the characters were the best aspect. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, Mr. Shark, Miss Tranchla, Mr. Piranha in this special were really good, I felt. They all shared a very strong dynamic, and while not quite as strong as it is in the film due to time, I still really enjoyed seeing the characters again, and I really enjoyed their dynamics. Much like how I said about the movie, the human characters 
are just bland. <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, if it was up to me, if I was creating the world of the bad guys, why not have replaced humans with animals? It would just kind of make sense, because the main characters are talking animals, why not have the this residents of the city be animals as well? I, I don't know, I know it was like that in the books, now I haven't read the books, I think that there were humans in the books, but I don't know, I just feel personally if it was up to me, I think DreamWorks should have changed it. They should have replaced animals, sorry, they should have replaced the humans with animals personally. But I'm happy to say the characters, the main characters at least, were very good in the special I felt. The music was pretty solid, Mr. Piranha song actually was very catchy I personally felt. And I genuinely just really enjoyed the music. Much like the film where the music was one of the best aspects along with the characters, I really did like the music in the special. I'm happy to say I actually did have a lot of fun with A Very Bad Holiday. Overall, The Bad Guys A Very Bad Holiday may have very poor animation. It more than makes up for it with a really nice story, catchy music, and brings back the best aspect of the film with the really good characters. This is definitely worth a watch this Christmas and I hope that this is not the last time that we see Mr. Wolf and the gang. I'm going to give the bad guys a very bad holiday, an 8 out of 10. I really hope this is the start of a new franchise. I would love to see a sequel. I'd love to, for this to be a trilogy and I'd love to see a TV series. Hey, we might get a TV show set before the first film. We might even get a TV show set after the first movie. Personally, I would love to see a Crimson Paw spin-off TV show. I think that'd be really good. There's a lot of characterization I think that you can do with that kind of idea. So yeah, no, nah, I'm very excited and I just I hope that I hope that we see more of these characters because they're fantastic and no, I, I genuinely, I had a lot of fun with this special and I highly recommend giving it a chance. So that is it for my review of The Bad Guys A Very Bad Holiday. And yes, I actually forgot to mention earlier that I am wearing my Santa hat. This is the first Christmas review of the year. Stay tuned for the next Christmas review, which will hopefully come out soon. Until then, everyone, what did you guys think of A Very Bad Holiday? Stay tuned for the next video. And until then, take care, guys. Have a great week and skadoosh.